This program comes to you compliments of the Tobago Inspirational Network. To support this and other programs, we encourage you to give to TIN. Contributions can be made at any First Citizens Bank at account number 203-4679. We thank you for your support. Praise the Lord and welcome again to the program, Times of Refreshing. I am Reverend Sheila Waldron Joseph, and it's indeed a privilege being back with you another time. But before we meditate on God's word, let us take this opportunity to pray. Father, we give you praise and we give you thanks. Mighty God, we exalt your name yet another day, my God. Father, we declare that you are God. You are God all by yourself. You don't need help being God. So we reverence your presence. We reverence your mighty name. You are the almighty God, the all wise God, the all powerful God today. And great God, we recognize your lordship and we give you praise. Father, we ask you right now that you're going to send your presence among us today. God, you're going to send your presence with your people. You're going to send your presence amidst this program, great God. Father, we pray for the viewers God the faithful viewers that view day by day we pray great God that you're gonna meet with them God you're gonna touch them father you will deliver God you're gonna meet them at the very point of their need today father God even now I open my life to be used by you great God I invite the presence of the triune Godhead ah, the third person the Holy Spirit the helper the paracletos the one who was sent oh God to lead us into paths of all truth. Our God, we invite his presence here with us today. God, we just commit this time and this program. Yeah, God, even the entire TIN broadcast, we put it in your hands today, God, that you would bless and you would have your divine way as men and women use this platform to decree and declare your greatness in the name of Jesus. So great God, have your divine way today in Jesus. Jesus name amen praise the name of the Lord hallelujah my topic for today is a simple one it's never give up I don't know who I'm speaking to today but I'm encouraging you that you ought not to give up in spite of how the situation look you ought not to give up and I want to to show you from God's word. I want to speak to you concerning a woman that did not give up. She was persistent and she was determined and because of those qualities she was able to accomplish that which she desired. So let me encourage you today, whatever you're going through, to hold on to God. Let me encourage you today, never give up. Know that God is always with you. Know that he has never left you. The Bible says Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you. And people of God, we can stand up and promise. We could take that promise to the bank. God says it in his word and he means it. Hallelujah. He will never leave us. I want to encourage you today that in spite of the storm, in spite of the turmoil, in spite of the turbulence, I want to encourage you today that you ought not to give up on God. Ah, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up because God is not about to give up on you. So let me implore you today to hold on to God. In spite of your situation, hold on to God. Let us go to Luke 18. Hallelujah, one to eight. And I would use this short discourse as a platform for my word today. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint, saying, There was in a city a judge, which feared not God, neither regarded man. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of mine adversary. 
and he would not for a while but afterward he said within himself though i fear not god nor regard man yet because this widow troubled me i will avenge her lest by her continual coming she weary me hallelujah and the lord said hear what the unjust judge said and shall not god avenge his own elect which cry day and night unto him though he be along with them and i tell you that he will avenge them speedily nevertheless when the son of man cometh shall he find faith on the earth hallelujah praise the name of jesus uh, brethren today i'm here to encourage you don't give up on god you're looking at me my my viewing audience and you're saying to yourself i'm going through so much you don't understand reverend you're just talking because you are not in the situation but i'm here to tell you today i'm here to beseech you i am i'm here to beg you i'm here to implore you never give up uh, even as we have heard the scriptures the bible said in a city there was a judge that feared god neither regarded man yes and there are people like that because of their position in society because somehow they feel that they would have accomplished much they don't regard god neither man somehow they think that the world is theirs and they they rule it they, they reign supreme they are the commander and chief but i know a god who is totally in charge of the entire world and the Bible said and there was a widow in that city and she came unto him saying avenge me of mine enemies the meaning of the word avenge means to inflict harm in return for injury or wrong done to oneself it means to exact satisfaction for a wrong by punishing the wrongdoer so what she was really crying out to the judge who was supposed to be a fair person, who was supposed to be a person in a place that will, will give out just judgment, she was saying to him, come on, because wrong has been done to me, I'm calling on you as a judge to come through, to exact vengeance, to exact satisfaction for a wrong that was done by punishing the wrongdoer. That is what she was calling for. She said, avenge me of mine adversary. Those that are doing me wrong, come on, oh judge. She said, what she was saying to him is, come on, I need you to sit in a place where you can give judgment, where you can give just judgment, where you can exact justice unto me because of those that do wrong to me. Hallelujah. And the Bible said he would not for a while. The Bible didn't say what was done to her but we know something was done to her that was wrong that was unlawful and we are living in a time where people seek to do wrong to others and sometimes when you take these matters to the court of the law sometimes you get no justice but thank God I know a man that says his name is justice. He will judge right. His name is Yahweh. Hallelujah. And even when the godly systems of this world don't give us just judgment for things that have been done wrongfully to us, there is a judge that sits on the throne. Hallelujah. His domain is in heaven. And the Bible still declares that he ruleth in the affairs of men. Hallelujah mighty God the Bible said and this woman she kept coming and coming because she was crying out for justice hallelujah she was crying out for justice she was crying out to this judge uh, to come on and exact satisfaction for the wrong uh, that was done to her by a wrongdoer and the bible said he would not for a while so she kept coming and she kept coming and he came to a place and he said you know what though i fear not god nor regard man though i look at myself as a god though though i think that i'm in charge yet 
yet because of our constant coming, I will answer her. Because somehow I think along the way, she will weary me. Hallelujah. He said, yet because this widow troubled me, I will avenge her. Lest by her continual coming, she wearies me. What I like about this widow is that she was persistent. She was determined. She knew what she want and she did not give up. She continued to come. She continued to beg. She continued to beseech that judge. And he came to a place. He came to a place that he said to himself, you know what? I am going to exact satisfaction. I'm going to inflict harm in return for the wrong that was done to this woman. He said, I would avenge her. Because she, it does not look that she will stop coming. She was persistent. And that is a good attribute as a believer that we should, we should, we should try to get. Hallelujah. We cannot give up. I don't know what you're going to God for, but let me encourage you to be persistent. Let me encourage you to be consistent. Let me encourage you to be determined in your quest. Hallelujah. Some people pray one day and God doesn't come through. And they pray two days and God still does not come through. And they pray for three days and then they came. Then they come to a place where they say, okay, God is not answering me. And they give up. This woman was determined. The judge said, let me answer her quickly. Lest she wearies me. And as I think of this, I think about the woman with the issue of blood. She had the same attributes because the Bible said when she got to the place where she heard Jesus was going to be at, there was a multitude. In the Bible, when you see the word multitude, it speaks to a number that cannot be numbered. Hallelujah. And the Bible said she stayed there. She pushed her way through. She could have easily given up and say, you see me, I'll come back another day. Today is probably not a good day. When she saw the crowd, the Bible said it was a multitude. But I thank God for her persistence. The Bible said she pushed her way through. She said, if I but only touch the hem of his garment. She was not about to go back home with that issue of blood. She was carrying this issue for 12 long years. 12 years too much. And she was ready to lay down at the feet of the great physician. Hallelujah. She said, if I but touch the hem of his garment. And she pushed her way through. She pushed her way through. She was persistent. She was determined that I was, she was determined. And I could hear her saying, I'm not going to go home with this issue. I need to get my healing, not tomorrow and not next week, but I need to get my healing today. Mighty God. And I'm saying to some of you are viewing right now, you're going through a situation and it has been years. And it's like the more you pray, the worse it gets. Let me encourage you to be persistent. Let me encourage you to be like the widow that continually came to the judge. Let me come, encourage you not to give up. Don't give up. I don't care how long it takes. God will come through. The Bible says he that hears will answer. Hallelujah. He will come through because he's God. He's God and he will come through. Let me encourage you. Don't give up. The Bible says yet. Because this widow troubled me. I could see her going to this judge every day. And she's there and she's petitioning this judge. And she's laying her case before this judge. He said, yet because of a continual coming. Continual speaks to not giving up. It was continual. It kept going and going and going and going. And that is what God requires of us. Even as we come to him in prayer. The Bible said men ought always to pray and not to faint. Hallelujah. Not to give up. Mighty King. And the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge said. And shall not God avenge his own elect? 
shall not God come through for us that name the name of Christ? Shall not God avenge? Shall he not inflict harm in return for injury or wrongdoing done to us? Yes, he will. The Bible declares, and shall not God avenge his own elect? We are God's elect. And if we are God's elect, he's obligated to avenge our enemies. Which cry day and night unto him. Believers, children of God, viewing audience, continue to cry day and night unto God. He that hears will answer. Hallelujah. The Bible said, will I not avenge my own elect? Which cry day and night? That speaks to persistence. That speaks to determination. You're not giving up. Continue to cry day and night unto him. Though he be along with them, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. I like the word speedily. We are living in a season that God is coming through for his people speedily. You're not going to wait years and months for what God is about to do in this season. This is a season of suddenly. This is the season of speedily. The Bible said he will avenge them speedily. Speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. Hallelujah. Brethren, don't give up. Let me encourage you today, never give up. I don't know how much years you have been praying about a particular situation. I'm here today to tell you don't throw in the towel. Don't give up. God will come through for you. If he come, came through in the Bible for men of old, know that he's the same God. The Bible says he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And what he has done for those men of old, let me encourage you he can do it for you and I today hallelujah he can come through for you you need to put on the armor of determination and persistence you're not gonna give up I'm gonna stay here until God bless me Jacob said it I'm not letting go until you bless me God hallelujah Brethren, we need to stand firm. Children of God, we need to stand firm in this season because there are things that will come to shake us. But we need to put on that firm affirmation that I am not going to give up. I am going to stay with God. I am going to stay in God. Because the same God that hears, he promises that he will answer. He has promised in his word that he will answer he said much more imagine listen to that judge he's an unjust judge ah listen to what he's saying much more me god he said won't i avenge my enemies won't i avenge the enemies for my elect yes i will god will inflict harm in return for injury that's the meaning of avenge or wrong done to someone hallelujah to exact satisfaction for a wrong by punishing the wrongdoer god is gonna come through for you he that hears will answer the bible said his eyes runneth through and fro the whole earth still beholding the good and the evil even when others don't see and they don't understand and they would have not experienced what you're going through. Know that the eyes of the Lord still running through and fro the entire earth. He still beholds the good and the evil. Hallelujah. And he said it in his word today. He said, hear what the unjust judge said. And shall not God avenge his own elect? Brethren, we are God's elect. We are God's chosen people. We are his elect. And so he has promised in his word that he will avenge our enemies. And he's not going to take long to do it. He said, I tell you that I, he will avenge them speedily. 
mighty God. I don't know who you are today, but I want to encourage you that God will avenge. God will avenge them speedily. God would have seen the wrong. He would have seen the injustice that was done to you. Hallelujah. Let me encourage you today that this God that we are reading about, he is the same God. What he has done for others, know that he can do it for you. Know that he can come through for you. Know that he can fight your enemies for you. Know that he can scatter them. Deuteronomy 28 encourages us. He said, and when they come in one way against you, the Lord will cause them to flee seven ways. Hallelujah. That's one of the blessings that God has commanded towards his people in Deuteronomy 28. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can rest, be rest assured that God will come through for us. God is going to come through for you. Don't give up. Let me encourage you today to hold on to Jesus. We are living in uncertain times. We are living in an uncertain era. Era, you don't know what tomorrow holds, but I surely do know who holds tomorrow. Let me encourage you to hold the hand of him who holds tomorrow. Hold on to God. Never give up. Continue in prayer. Continue in praise. Continue in worship. Ah, God, because God will come through for you. Hallelujah. As you keep coming before him, he will fight on your behalf today. He will fight. He will provide. He will make every crooked part straight on your behalf. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage you today, never give up. In spite of how the situation look, sometimes we go through some gloomy, gloomy situations. But God will come through. God is obligated to come through for you and for me. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage you today from God's word that you never give up. You never throw in the towel. You might be going through a situation in your marriage. Don't give up. You might be going through a situation concerning your children. Let me encourage you today. The just judge will surely avenge. Don't give up. You might be going through a situation on your job. Ah, they would, they would have done you so much wrong and so much injustice. They would have tried to take what is rightfully yours and give to another. Let me encourage you today that the just judge is mindful of that situation. And he will come through for you. He will fight on your behalf today. You are not alone. You are not alone. Don't give up. God is on your side. He is fighting for you hallelujah praise the name of Jesus whatever you're going through today God is in total control ah let me encourage you today viewers to rest in God rest in God knowing that God has it all in control one songwriter said you got it all in control and because he has it in control you and I could rest assured that the end of it will be a perfect end the end of it will be the end that God has desired for your life and mine rest in God today viewers never give up continue to press continue like the woman with an issue of blood be determined be persistent know that God is backing you he is on your side hallelujah he is on your side. Let me encourage you today, stand firm in God. We're living in a time that nothing is sure, certain. The only thing that remains sure is the word of God and his promises towards you and I. Stand in God. Don't give up in spite of the situation. Continue to hold on to the everlasting arms. Continue to hold on. Before I close, let me take this opportunity to pray for you, the viewers. Hallelujah. Father, we praise you today. 
Daddy, we thank you for your word that we ought not to give up. Father, we thank you for your word uh, that showed us that the unjust judge answered this widow because of her constant coming. Ah, uh, God, and we're not going to the unjust judge today. We are going to you, God, the just judge, uh, the one that sees and hears and knows it all, uh, the one whose eyes continue to roam the entire earth, beholding the good and the evil. My God, we are coming to you today. Ah, Daddy, and I'm presenting these viewers. Uh, Father, fight on their behalf. Uh, God, you know those that are experiencing episodes of injustice uh, in their homes, uh, on their jobs, uh, in their families. Oh, God, uh, I pray today, mighty King, uh, that you will come through for them. Ah, uh, Father, cause them to stand. Uh, cause them to know that in this time they cannot give up. Hallelujah. Oh, God, cause them to be persistent. Oh, Father, cause them to be determined. Cause them to say like Jacob, I'm not letting go until you bless me. Father, we lift these viewers before you, God. Those that are sick in their body even now, we decree healing. We decree long life over their lives today. Oh, God, I decree that they are blessed and not cursed. Those that are going through financial difficulties. Oh the God, ah God, Jehovah Jireh, come through for them, oh God. We commit these viewers into your hands. Ah God, those that are having issues with their children, oh God, minister to these children in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we just commit them into your hands. Oh God, Holy Spirit, have your divine way over their lives, oh God, and cause them never to give up knowing that God you are always with them you will never leave them nor forsake them so God we commit them into your hands oh God that you will have your divine way in and through their lives in Jesus name amen again it was a pleasure being here with you I am Reverend Sherla Waldron Joseph and may the peace of God rule and reign in your hearts today in Jesus name. Amen.